سورة البلد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا أقسم بهذا البلد وأن تحل بهذا البلد ووالد وما ولد لقد خلقنا الإنسان في كبد Three ayats consisting of oaths The fourth one is the statement on which these oaths have been taken To understand first that fourth ayah لَقَدْ خَنَقْلَ الْإِنسَانَ فِي كَبَدْ Verily, we have created man in toil, hardships, sufferings. His life is full of hardships, sufferings. You know what happened to Mahatma Gautam Buddh? He saw different forms of sufferings. A child dying and the parents standing and weeping, can't do anything. Why? Why is it so? A blind man falling down. Why is it blind? Then he left his palace, wife, son. I must solve, you know, the riddle of this universe. What is this? Why this suffering? Sarvam Dukkham this is the main idea of Buddhism. All is suffering, agony, pain. Ghalib says, Qaid-e hayat wa bandhe gham asl mein dono ek hai. Maut se pehle aadmi gham se nijat paaye kyun? Life contains hardships and sufferings, agonies, pains. But the second stage we have read already in Shikaq. After suffering here then, you will be standing before your Lord also. The animals, they suffer here, yes, but they don't, they will never be questioned before their Lord. But this is the tragedy of mankind. Now the oaths on this. La uqsimu bihad al-balad. Verily, I swear by this city. That is Makkah. Makkah was hard for living. No vegetation. Nothing grew over there. Bivadin Ghair is Izar. Not an easy or pleasant place to live. Vanta Hillum Bihadal Balad. Over and above that, and you, O Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you are a dweller in this city. And you will be permissible in this city. What does it mean? Number one, that people are persecuting you here. First of all, the city is hard to live. And now you are having the hardship because these disbelievers, they are opposing you. They are calling you names. They are saying you have gone mad. So this is another toil, another suffering, another dimension of suffering. And the other meaning is that you will be permissible. One day will come, and that is the victory of Makkah, when you will be allowed to make warfare in this city. Otherwise, it is forbidden city. This is Baladul Haram. No fighting here. And this was the tradition of the Arabs. That even if a person was searching for the killer, murderer of his father for years together, and couldn't find him. But then he saw him in Makkah, in Haram. But he won't say anything to him. Don't do any harm. He is in Makkah. This is Baladul Amin, Baladul Haram. But one day will be for you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This man will be lifted. Your struggle will reach that place. Thirteen or fourteen persons were killed on the day of the victory of Makkah. Wawalidin wa mawalid. Another manifestation of this toil and hardship. The begotter and the begotten. Now father has to look after the child. 
to provide for the child. This is not an easy job, rearing the children, bringing them up. Hardship, hardship over hardship, hardship over hardship. Lakat khalak nal insana fi kabad. We have created man in hardship and toil. Ayahsabu Allah yaqdir alayhi ahad. Does he think that nobody will be able to have power over him? Yaqulu ahlak tum ala lobada. And he says boastingly, Well, I have squandered abundant wealth in charity. They used to boast. I fed so many people. I helped so many people. Ayahsabu allam yarahu ahad. Does he think that nobody observed him? If he was doing for Allah, so Allah is seeing, he has, he has seen, no use saying it. But if it was to show off to the people, then you will have no reward from Allah. Simple. Yaqulu ahlak tum ahlan lobada, ayah sabu allam yarahu ahad. Now the blessings of man, alam naj'al lahu aynayn, didn't we give him two eyes to see? The lisanam wa shafatain, and a tongue and two lips, with the help of which you speak. Wa hadaynahu najadain, and we guided him to the two highways. Now the interpretation of these two highways is number one. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put, as we shall find in the next surah, the knowledge of good and evil is inherent in human souls. So as if Allah has already guided them. This way is wrong, this way is correct. This is good, this is bad. Telling a lie is bad. Speaking the truth is good. Everybody knows. Fulfilling the promise is good. Going back on their promise, bad. To be respectful to your parents, good. To be disrespectful, bad. Who doesn't know it? So we have already guided him to the two highways. But another interpretation is that the breasts of the mother, the child is born, baby, knows nothing. But as if some had taught him, someone, that your food is there in the breasts of your mother, go and suck it. Nobody has to train him. If that training was not already given to him, how, how could you feed that, child, that baby? So this is the other interpretation, and I prefer this interpretation. Despite our blessings, man has not been able to cross the narrow valley, which is very high. Aqaba. In high mountains, narrow valleys, Man didn't cross them. What do you mean by that? The explanation is coming in the following ayat. What is that? Mamadra ka malakawa. Do you know? What will make you understand what is this? Akaba. What is this narrow valley at the height? Fakkur akaba. Freeing of a slave. You set a slave free. Service to mankind, sympathy with your human fellow beings, to be able to spend your money, to relieve your fellow beings from pain and suffering. This is the, the narrow bottleneck which man, due to his miserliness, niggardliness, singleness, he can't cross. Due to love of wealth. Thakko rakabatin, au ikamun fi yomin zimas rakabatin. Or feeding on a day of hunger. When there is famine, when there is drought. And if you have some store of grain, some stock, normally you like to keep it. But whosoever can share this with the fellow beings, 
although he sees that maybe he will need it tomorrow, but no. Itamun fi yomin zi masqaba, yatiman za makraba. An orphan who is also a relative, krabadar, who is a kin. Aw miskinan za matraba, or a needy man lying in the dust. This is the narrow valley which you cross. That is, you have let loose the brake. The love for wealth is the brake. Your car cannot go. You are pushing the accelerator. But the brake is there. Your car cannot move. So whatever you try, you cannot be a righteous person unless you are relieved of this love for wealth. And this subject we have read in, in detail in Suratul Hadith. Elamu and Allah your healer the Bada Motiha. But by Yanna Lakumulaya till Allah Kumta Kelun in the Mussad de Tina and Mussad de Kati Wakrabullah Kazan Hassana. Yuda for the Hum, when the Humadun Karim. One of the Amanu Billahi were Sulehi. Those who pass this narrow bottleneck and then they have faith, then you know their character, their moral character. It will go up and up and up. But you have to open the break first, and that break is the love of wealth. When you have passed this, through this narrow valley, summa kana min al-lazina amanu wa tawaswa bil-sabri wa tawaswa bil And then you join those people who have faith, who believe, and who exhort each other for patience, and exhort each other for compassion. Now this is Surah Al-Asr written over here. Well, Asr, إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرِ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَبِلِ الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاسُوا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاسُوا بِالصَّبْرِ The only difference is, Amal al-Salihat has been taken first. Freeing a slave, feeding the hungry. This is Amal al-Salih. In Surah Al-Asr, Iman, then Amal al-Salih. Then Tawasi will have the Tawasi will suffer. Here the sequence is different. The, ahem, the most important Amal is Saleh. Sympathy for your fellow beings. Fakku raqabatin au itamun fi yawmin zi masrabatin. Yatiman za makrabatin au miskinan za matraba. Mentioned here. Now you join that band, that group, that Hezbollah who has faith and they exhort each other. Sab for sabr and marhaba. Ulaika sabul maimana. These are the people to whom their records will be handed over in their right hands. Walladina kafaru biayatina. As for those who belay our revelations, whom ashabul mashrama. They are the people to whom their record will be handed over in their left hands. Alayhim narum musada. They will be in the fire, but the fire will be vaulted over, closed from up, upside. You know, if there is an oven and it is closed from above, then all the heat is within. If there is some opening, then heat goes out also. But closed, muqsada. Alayhim naru muqsada.